Hello, everyone. I pray that you all are blessed. I pray that you are doing very well in this life I call one huge test, or should I say a life of tests? Maybe it is the same thing, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I am going to tell you a story and and hopefully you will get my point. Something happened some years back. And um I did not I was asked to do something and I did not know exactly what I was doing. So I agreed to do it, but I would pray to God so much about how to do it. And if I remember correctly, and it kind of happens to me now, it is like to make this easy to understand. It is like someone <laughs> sends an email to my mind directing me on what I should do on certain things. Not really an email, but like another consciousness that sends messages to my mind you may say that i am nuts you may say that blah 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 but but i believe the bible says we know the spirit by the fruit so anyways i was i don't like saying god told me this and god told me that i think too many people say that and i think many people who say that are lying so i don't like saying god told me this and god showed me that anyways i was doing something and i believe that i was being led in the right direction and something happened maybe it was my fault i don't know but a particular person got in my way and I was thinking, you know, in so many words, it is not me you are getting in the way of because I don't know, like I prayed, I would pray so much asking God what I should do blah 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 i don't really want to say too many details and it was like as if someone like placed thoughts into my mind guiding me on where on what i should do sort to speak and i believe that person got in the way and i feel it messed up what was happening. And it was not easy for me to do what I was doing. It was very, very difficult. Very difficult. Anyways, I believe in the past I would argue with that person about what happened and all that mess like that and i don't think it really got solved when i would argue with that person so if i remember correctly i stopped arguing with that person about it and i think this was years ago and recently maybe a week or more ago 
that person told me in so many words, it was their fault. Now, <laughs> I was really, 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 really shocked. This person admitted that it was their fault for this particular incident. Maybe they admitted to it before, I don't know, but what I remember right now is that person admitted to it years after. <laughs> My Lord. And you may say, Kevin, what is your point? What if I chose not to argue with that person about what happened? About, I think I was trying to show that person that it is their fault and another person's fault. What if I chose not to, because look, by arguing, by arguing with that person, I don't think that person admitted to it. So I believe it was a waste of emotions, time, and whatever else to argue with that person. What I should have done back then from the start is probably, I guess when you have an issue with a person, I think in many cases, it is probably best to approach that person about it. But if it turns for the worst, you may need to keep your peace. And I think for a while, I would argue back. So I believe that showed me with that person Arguing did not solve anything. It did not. It did not. I believe what I would do back then, I would pray about it. I think, yes, I think I would pray about it so much years ago. And then I stopped after a while, I think. So what if... I hope this is making sense to you. You may believe that you that you have to make a big fuss and make like a big show to get a person to understand they are wrong. You don't have to do that. I believe if you choose to do wrong, wrong is going to come back to you. I believe too, if you argue, things may escalate to a level where things may become worse, which I believe that is what happened in a sense. Like, have you ever gotten so angry that you got hurt? I believe that is, I believe that is what happened to me. But what if I would have, of course, addressed my issue with the person, but what if I chose to shut my mouth, mouth after that person showed me that they are not really trying to hear it, which I believe was the case. You don't have to fight and argue with people. You don't. Sometimes I guess we may get in the heat of the moment and do things or say things we shouldn't, but I think we should practice self-control when it comes down to our emotions. Like I said, I was shocked when that person admitted to me after all these years. Not like many years, maybe, I forget. 
how many years it was maybe over three uh, i forget but i was really shocked and why would that person admit to it now i believe it was god i truly believe it was god because i can't say it was me because i don't have that type of power to get a person to confess i don't have that type of power i don't so learn to keep your peace learn to keep your mouth shut i know it may hurt to not feel like you are heard or understood i understand that they that may feel hurtful to you and i believe it hurts me at times too but what can you do get baited in a senseless pointless useless argument get so mad you begin saying things you should not get so mad and start doing things you should not why even go down that path keep your peace cry to god about it if you have to sometimes i cry sometimes and there is nothing wrong with it nothing wrong with a man crying or a woman crying to god there is nothing wrong with that better to cry to god than for you to act wildly and unseemly with a person right or to a person am i saying that right to with a person so i hope this makes sense learn from my mistakes let me learn from my own mistakes as well learn to keep your peace some people may not be able to see the truth some people may have pride and see the truth but won't admit to it so in either case what can you really do torture the person like hey let me string you up and tie you to this table and stretch your limbs out for you to confess why even go through all of that not even necessary learn to keep your peace and keep and keep on walking straight forward on the path that god has set for you in life yes things may disappoint you but don't let it discourage you from doing what is right i hope this makes sense it is not all about being proven right i know when there is confusion some people may want to be proven right so that the confusion can stop but i think we all have different issues maybe pride issues ignorance issues misunderstanding issues and also add in demonic influence and confusion and all that mess there which i believe that happens so learn to keep your peace i know it may be very hard but it is necessary it is necessary please believe me if you have to cry cry i remember years ago um i felt like i was being untreated so much untreated mistreated so much and i tried to hold in my tears and it just boom just came out like i could not control them and i sobbed like <laughs> like really bad maybe on like a level eight or nine or just boohooing you know i was embarrassed but 
I guess it was necessary. <laughs> I guess it was necessary. Better to cry than to hold in your emotions just like a man and murder somebody or beat someone up or express your emotions in a very bad way. Cry it out. Well, you know, I'm a man and men can't cry because we are supposed to be tough and Sometimes you need to cry out to God and release that stuff. It's not good to hold in mess within you. Learn to talk to Jesus Christ about it. Was it the other night? I forget, maybe a night or two before. Let's say every so often, you know, sometimes I speak to Jesus Christ as if he is here, which I believe he is here. And after talking about it and praying about it to him, I think much of the time a peace comes over me. I am telling you, like a peace comes over me. I am serious. Now, I may not verbally hear his responses, but sometimes, here we go again, sometimes, like, words not that i can hear them but words that come to my mind like uh as if someone is speaking to you but not speaking to you like as if they can take their words and place them into your mind if that makes any sense <laughs> You can say I am nuts and crazy and whatever else. And if you say that, you are probably not spiritual. That is probably why you are saying that. But I hope this makes sense. May God bless you.